If you're driving through different areas in America, you're gonna see factories. They might have a sign on them, they might not. You just don't know what's being made there. There's a ton of things that are being made in America. The U.S. economy is continually being restructured. Uh, new things happen, old things stop happening. We adapt to changing circumstances, and American manufacturing is a shadow of what it was, but what's left is the desirable manufacturing. Predicting the future is a pretty difficult thing to do, but manufacturing in the United States means advanced technology. I gotta tell you, regardless of your spiritual beliefs, the universe is having a big laugh on you if your job is to make beer and you somehow find it stressful. When you're born in St. Louis, you have an interest in beer, if not a passion for beer from sort of birth. It's kind of a civic duty of everyone born in this city. I'm retired. I... He just, he just drinks yeah, beer. Just, yeah, I just drink beer. <laughs> Schlafly Beer started in 1991. Our aspirations weren't beyond the two co-founders having a place that they could drink traditional European-style beers in their hometown. We were more just sort of, can we survive? Will we find enough consumers to put a few dollars over the bar to keep us in business? We began our first batch of beer on December 10th, 91. And two weeks later, we were serving beer to the thirsty patrons of St. Louis. And of course, within a few weeks, we ran out of beer. So both of our breweries completely maxed out. No more room to brew any more beer, but a whole lot of demand. Now that's a problem. It's a high class champagne problem to have. So the writing was on the wall. The light was at the end of the tunnel, but it was an oncoming freight train, and we needed to do something. This is a Siemens PCS-7, which stands for a process control system. Uh, and we're running Bramat, which is what controls the recipe. We doubled our capacity for brewing whenever we put this system in. We don't really want someone with an education at a brewing school to sit there and adjust valves. So let's make the machine do it. There's a uh, marriage of old world technology and new world technology. Having some automation is really key to improving the process. Nobody at the brewery is mad about the automation. No one's losing their job. There's no beer robot that has suddenly chased them out. Um, if anything, we've actually hired a ton more people. We learned that the computer allows us to be craft oriented. I think it really actually accented the craft aspect of the beer. If our beer isn't true to brand, then I'm really not interested in making a six pack of it, much less hundreds of barrels. This beer is brewed here in the United States, so they made quite an investment, not only in their own business, but in the community. When I was growing up in the 1980s, I mean, this was an area you just drove through. It was almost like an old relic when Schlafly announced that they were going to open the bottle works in Maplewood, that sent a, an important message to the greater community at large. These guys took two abandoned buildings, rehabbed them, opened up a business, hired a lot of folks, and you could just see radiating out from that other things happening. What Siemens Braumont was and is, it's the right tools and resources we needed to get the job done. We innovated everything for hundreds of years and we have to get back to that and just challenging ourselves and pushing ourselves. This is what really the United States is all about. Americans say, I wonder if I can do something better. Can I make it better quality? Can I use technology? If you can believe it, you can achieve it. Come on here, give us your poor, your tired, your wretched, your weary, whatever it says on that statue. Come on in, you can make it. That's the American dream.